all this talk of Baccarat Rouge smelling fragrances, you know what? Listen, not everything smells the same. And this fragrance right here, I'm going to tell you why. You know what to do. Welcome back NYC Fragrance Family, back with another video. Yes, bringing you a fragrance from the house that I enjoy. The one that's right here, Mansara. Now, yeah, maybe I'm a Mansara fanboy. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know what? My opinions are my own and these are my thoughts. So anyway, the fragrance I'm talking to you about today is the recently released Mansara, and the fragrance is Instant Crush. Comes in a 120 ml bottle, retails for $180. So a lot of people are saying that this smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Well, the only two similar notes between the two of them are the Saffron and Jasmine, and that's where it stops. There is that noticeability of that similarity because of the saffron note and that's pretty much again where i say it stops when you're a fan of mancera fragrances like i am you kind of know and understand what the mancera dna is pretty much about this fragrance has a ton of notes listed you got saffron you got ginger you got sicilian bergamot sicilian mandarin moroccan rose egyptian jasmine Indonesian patchouli leaf, sandalwood, oak moss, white musk, and Madagascar vanilla. Now, as compared to the BR540, the listed notes are saffron, jasmine, amber wood, ambergris, fir resin, and cedar. You see the difference there? Now, there's some people that have commented positively about Instant Crush. There's some people that have commented negatively about Instant Crush. Before I go on, I did request this for review so that I had a bottle for the presentation so that I could show you the bottle and I'll show it to you again. Mansara's Instant Crush. I just love the way this bottle looks. I don't know, I like the Mansara bottles. I think they, I like the gold and I like the twist cap that it has. Show you that as well. The cap twists off. Fragrance is awesome. To me, I've worn both this fragrance and BR540 and to me this is a little lighter, a little more airy. The saffron itself is not as piercing as it is I think in the BR540. Now again, I'm not shitting on BR540 because I do appreciate the fragrance and I do enjoy the fragrance. But when it comes to value, when it comes to price and the fact that I am a fan of Mansara. When, I'm, when a retail is at $180 for 120 ml and the retail for BR540 is $300 for 70 ml, you're getting a, a little bit more than half of what's in this bottle for almost twice the price. Well, we'll say at least a 50%, 60% markup. I'm not doing the math in my head. I'm just rounding it off. Anyway, so you get what I'm talking about. So. For me, I think the value is in the Instant Crush. I think you should try it, give it a whirl. I know when I've worn it, it's lasted all day. It smells fantastic. People have complimented, asked what it is. It is definitely a good fragrance as far as I'm concerned, as with many Manseras. If you're not familiar with the House of Mansara, you need to get familiar with the House of Mansara. Please give this video a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you like this type of content. Please subscribe if you haven't. And as always, NYC Fragrance Family, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.